Hey folks, just wanted to give you a um, bit of a very, very quick um, walkthrough on how you can add liquidity to the FCL XDAI pool and stake your LP tokens to get uh, sushi and FCL rewards. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through the very, very basic steps. So you just head on over to sushi and you click enter app. By default, this loads in the swap screen, which you can use, and you can already use to trade Fractal and uh, XDAI, or the other way around. Uh, but what I want to show you is here over in the uh, the Earn tab, which um, uh, you can you can uh, use the list that uh, Sushi shows you down here to go and find where FCL is, or simply type it into the uh, search box, and it will quickly tell you uh, how to find the pool. Uh, now, once you go into it, you have all sorts of pool stats that you can explore on your own. But what I want to show you is that uh, is how you add liquidity to this and then stake. So I've already done this before with uh, the account that is uh, connected right now. We see that I have a small stake position. Uh, that means that I already added some liquidity um, and then staked it. So uh, I'm just going to show you what the process looks like from the beginning. So. You just head on over to deposit and say that I want to put in a thousand FCL. Um, it will tell me that uh, in order to match in value, I need to also add about 4.67x die. But you could also change the way that this is um, that this is done by anchoring to x die instead. So if you wanted to put in 10x die, then it would tell you how many FCL uh, it would be required. So the value needs to be the same. It's just it's how a uh, the classic AMM model of a, of a DEX works. So um, let's put in a thousand FCL and the corresponding amount of XDAI liquidity, and I'm going to click add. Now, you might have to also issue an additional approval transaction. It will just tell you to do that if you haven't before, um, so it will not be any more complicated. Now, uh, you can follow the transaction on Gnosis Scan or, or Block Scout if you like. Uh, this should be very, very quick. Um, it usually, um, yeah, there you go. Um, and then if you're back to the sushi screen, um, your liquidity is now added. And then we see that in addition to the staked position that I had before, I now also have an unstaked liquidity position. And what I can do in order to stake it right away is just expand this little drop down down here and say, all right, so uh, all of the liquidity that I have in stake right now, 50% um, of that um, I want to stake. And, and, and why, why would you stake only 50%? It doesn't make a lot of sense. The reason I'm doing this is that I can show you afterwards how to do this if you forgot to stake when you added your liquidity. So I'll just put in 50 for now, and I'm going to go ahead and say, yep, stake that liquidity, please. Yes, go ahead. MetaMask, do your do your magic. Now, this again should be very very quick to be included. By the way, these transactions are very very cheap uh, because precisely they're running on on the Gnosis chain. So you know that the fee for this transaction was approximately like um, two ten of thousands of, uh, of a dollar. It's very small. Um, you would be paying or there could be more on Ethereum to do this. So um, now I stake half of my liquidity and I still have naturally some liquidity that is in stake. That was the whole point. If I go back to the pool, I can see the same data. Uh, I also see that I am accruing rewards. Now this updates every, um, every few seconds and it will show you based on the amount of um, LP tokens that you got when you added liquidity, how many of those you have staked, you're entitled pro rata to more or less rewards. So you could claim that right now if you wanted to. Um, but what I want to show you is how you add um, your LP tokens to uh, the staking program after you have added liquidity if you didn't do that in the same step. So you just head on over to deposit again. And um, this is the regular screen for adding liquidity, but you can still expand the stake liquidity down here. And you see that I do have a balance of LP tokens to stake. And uh, if I forgot to do this in the first step, I can just do it now. So I'm going to go ahead and stake everything that I have. And uh, what I should see is my liquidity position dropping to zero and my stake position increasing to about 20. Um, this transaction, like the other ones, should be very fast and it should be very cheap. Again, 
It's ridiculous. So, liquidity position at zero, stake position at roughly 20. You can add this, you can stake right after adding liquidity. You can always come back to stake or unstake afterwards as well. So I hope that this was useful. Um, let me know if there is any question that I left unanswered. Very, very happy to uh, uh, help you guys figure this out. So have a beautiful day.